Hello out there. We are on the air. Hope everyone is doing fine and dandy tonight. Oh my goodness. Uh, just be one second. I'll send out the uh, link and we will do it to it. Almost there, just be about uh, one more minute. And we'll do a quick sound check. Hey, Dean, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> I did let uh, DeBrusquiego know that uh, you will be on AP by about 7.30. Oh, and we did our accidental ch sound check there. Oh, you're very welcome. All right, let's plug this in, and then we will do it to it. Obviously, the 49ers, I believe, have won uh, seven, no, no, six straight games, six straight games. Eight and one, uh, they just uh, shellacked the Cowboys themselves, so... This will be interesting to see, to be sure, and they have a mostly healthy roster as well. Coach, your task was facing the 49ers in our high-powered offense this week. Where does stopping them start? Hmm. It has to be pressure. You start getting the QB off his spot consistently and getting sacks or even forcing incompletions, and any offense is going to struggle to have success. Get three plus sacks. We can do that. Hey, hey, Roast, welcome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. It's uh, the two teams I control until I take control of the uh, Browns. Well, co-control. Uh, Coach, you're up against the 49ers this week, and they've been playing great football lately. Can you end their win streak? I feel pretty good. They've looked unbeatable the last few weeks, but we have a locker room full of guys ready to step up to the challenge. Ooh. So big boosts for both teams here. Let's see if there's any upgrades. Oh, very nice. Tackle going up. Good, good. That all seems about right. Let's throw this in receiving back, and it'll be a kind of moment of truth. He'll hit 75 overall, and we'll see if he has an extra ability slot. He does not. So he is, in fact, a star dev uh, player, which I am A-OK -okay with. Our 5-5 five, five, diminutive uh, halfback, 92 speed, 92 excel. He's going to be good. We are still missing Brandon Ayuk and um, Tiny Stolars for the next three weeks, which will be tough, missing our uh, X-Factor wide receiver, who's a 94, and missing our... Uh, Third down running back, who's an 87. Roast, looking to give the Colts and Falcons a shellacking after what happened in Houston last night. That's the nice thing about this. There's always a game uh, the next day, basically. Quick look at the schedule. Let's uh, do it. Oh, right, I haven't played the 49ers yet. Let's take a look at that roster they have. Brock Purdy at QB, a 99 overall, or at least... 
right with the boosts, we won't be able to see their actual overalls. We'll go view this via team salaries. Purdy is a 98 overall. Chris McCaffrey uh, still a 93 at 30 years old. Uh, David Tucker, who just had a 150-yard game while McCaffrey was hurt for one, is an 82. Debo Samuel, Shaq Hatchett, Carlos Hernandez are their big three receivers. George Kittle at tight end. Tough assignment uh, with their line. They have a stout group here. Nick Bosa is pretty much the star of their defense. Zayvon Collins at the right end, former Cardinal. Robbie Cassidy, superstar dev, 88 overall D tackle, and uh, Jaron Reed, who is down to 76 at 32 years old. Been noticing a pattern, says Rose. Joe Burrow having good games. How? Uh, oh, that's quite a long comment. However, the past defense seems to be choking these good games. Apart from Houston annihilating my seventh ranked rush defense, coupled to with by a 405 yard performance from Stroud. Might be looking at a secondary overhaul in free agency and the draft. The thing is, though, um, there's going to be bad games. Hey, hey, Jiggles, yeah, we'll do an NFC standings check in just a second. Uh, the, the thing is, though, um, since the, with the um, with the good teams, if you lose them, sometimes it all just looks terrible. Like, Jiggles has uh, bad games against good teams time to time. So, yes, this 49ers team is definitely stacked. Buda Baker, former uh, Cardinal as well, multiple natural 99s. So it's definitely, well, I mean, you basically have no choice but to wait till season's end now. The trade deadline is passed. Quick NFC standings check. Cardinals in first, 49ers in second, Cowboys in third, Saints in fourth. Saints also leading their division, as are the Cowboys. Lions leading the NFC North. Then we have the Commanders in the first wild card spot. Panthers, Seahawks. So eight teams competing for seven spots, basically. And then the drop-off is significant after uh, the six and four Panthers and Seahawks getting to the Buccaneers, who have an outside chance, then the Packers and Falcons. Yeah, Panthers and Saints, uh, pardon me, Panthers and Seahawks in a uh, heat for seventh at the moment, to be sure. A lot can happen. While we're here, let's uh, do a quick look at the AFC. Texans and Bills are ahead of the class. Titans in the mix, as are the Chiefs. Bengals uh, there, Chargers, Patriots, and the Ravens at 5-5. Five and five. Jets, Raiders, Dolphins, and Colts all knocking at the door. So a bit of a tighter race in the AFC. It's separated eight good teams, eight uh, rough teams in the NFC. Oh, yes, I feel you, Jiggles. When uh, there are... When games have already happened, it's tough to check the standings. <laughs> Rose is happy the Ravens lost another game. Yeah, ever since they got DeAndre Swift, they've been uh, booty. And they play the Buccaneers, so no matter what, a good thing for one of you two guys. All right, it's 49ers. It's Cardinals. It's just a Sunday afternoon game. Surprising. Really? Justin Fields will start against the Panthers, Land. I am happy for you. Okay, so uh, this is good. This is good. DeAndre swiftly sinking the Ravens. You guys will see here, I switched playbooks. Um, I don't have a Debo Samuel, so those sets don't really make sense. And the two uh, halfback sets made a bit more sense when Tiny was healthy. And since I'm moving on from Tiny in the offseason... It kind of makes sense to find a new offense to go with. 
There's plenty of I form here, so the, my fullback will be in play. But I literally picked an offense based on how much the fullback would be used, which is crazy. Tariq Wollin with 13 picks this year. Landon Perillo dropped so hard for morale that they decided to go with Fields. Flanagan shall feast. Yes, true. You get another uh, game ag against uh, Justin Fields. Lucky you. Here we are at State Farm Stadium. Big matchup as I'm fighting with myself here. Jiggles, I don't feel too bad about missing on the second game against Fields. Trask was booty against the Saints. Well, that's good. That's good. And if you play the uh, Giants, you still have a chance to play against Fields again, it sounds like. Hobbsy! Finally can catch up on an official Expos pre-show. Welcome, welcome, Hobbsy. Glad you could join. This is a big one. The uh, 49ers, led by Brock Purdy here. 2,400 yards, 22 TDs, 4 picks. Are 8-1. Ha! <laughs> Welcome, Joey. Uh, Joey's saying now it's a, official that we're the uh, Expos pre-show. So the 49ers are 8-1. and one. The Cardinals are 9-0. and oh. A battle for NFC West supremacy here. We do play again in about uh, two weeks, which means about two, three days here. Jaguars with a big win on the Steelers and a big tackle by Chase Young. TFL on CMC. A lot of acronyms. Cowboys bouncing back against the Eagles. Eagles just in a pit of despair. And Purdy is to throw it out of bounds. It's going to be a three and out to start the game. Big pressure by the defense here. So we'll get a new look at uh, our new offensive playbook, at least for today. We'll see. There were a few others debating, but... Uh, only the Cowboys are using the Cowboys playbook, so didn't seem like a bad move. The Ice Bear breaking the first tackle, getting about four extra yards. And Jiggles Jake Taylor with Taylor's version of the Cowboys offense. 2,300 yards, 25 TDs, and three picks thrown this year. Slightly less yardage than Purdy, uh, one more touchdown thrown, one fewer pick thrown. <laughs> Jiggles, yes, Taylor's version of the Cowboys offense. Three-yard pickup. Just for you, Hobbs, he says Jiggles. And O'Shea last week with uh, 78 yards and a score. Getting three on his first carry. It, so it'll be interesting to see how the run game is affected here with the Cowboys playbook. Only a yard picked up. Big tackle there by Dre Greenlaw breaking uh, the block. Third and six, empty backfield here. Oh, and it'll be a three and out. As Hurwitz unable to put it, uh, close his hands on the ball there. Hurwitz filling in for an injured Brandon Ayuk. Uh, we're missing two very key offensive players if uh, you're joining us a little late. Fumble. Recovered by the 49ers, though. So Pearson uh, fumbles on the punt return. And Carter uh, able to recover. So neither team able to do much of anything. Not a single pass has been completed. Oh, it's the read option. Sonoa not fooled, though. Purdy picking up five yards, tackled uh, at the 28-yard line. Sonoa getting a little more action now that his uh, superstar dev has been uncovered. He's gotten about three, four upgrades at this point, so he's also looking pretty healthy. Debo Samuel in the Debo package, uh, rushing for four yards. See, that's the offensive play that... Uh, Oh no! Death chart lied to Landon. Perillo's at QB. I'm sorry to hear that. 
Big TFL. Aaron Donald wraps up McCaffrey, and it'll be two straight three and outs. Well, you know what? This will be uh, Perillo's last career game unless he manages to pull off a win. Because so I'm going to make that uh, third account to take over the Browns, and in the meantime, I will uh, take the axe to the Giants there. Ice Bear on the return. Breaks one tackle and brought down by the second man. Carter is hurt. He will be back uh, at some point in this game, though. Cardinals offense, their second offensive possession, yet to acquire a first down. Uh, neither team able to get a first down as of yet. And O'Shea with a big pickup of six there. Jelani Woods is hurt. Ah, Jiggles saying uh, urgency to not be the last division winner. So we get the fullback in play. Ooh, gain of only two as the 49ers defense looking good. I just want to defeat my own creation here, guys. So third and two. Jiggles has only attempted one pass so far despite the new playbook. It's play action. Finding Musgrave, first down. Pickup of 11 yards. The big boy. Jiggles with a big throw, and it's a tip drill in Hunter Lenore, who had two interceptions the previous week against Dak Prescott. That was not really Jiggles' fault, but throwing into what wound up basically being triple coverage did not end well. So it was double coverage, and Lenore out of nowhere grabbing the uh, INT. So basically an arm punt, because... Uh, there is some mustard on that throw, to say the least. Yeah, all the way back at their own 19. Flanagan's sack fumble on Perillo, says Jiggles. Yes, we have double games happening uh, here at the very least. Snoop, oh, pounce! Dropping Brock Purdy on his own five-yard line. Loss of 13 yards on the sack there. Look at this shoulder tackle. Just rocking Brock Purdy. And Purdy did uh, get hurt last game, leading to uh, Townsend making about five or six uh, passes, having a few possessions. Second and 23 from their own five for the 49ers now. Data on the tackle. Tune into Data on YouTube after this. The actual Data, not the uh, linebacker. Third and 18 after the five-yard pickup. Wakabayashi's first tackle of the day. And first down is picked up. Shaq Hatchet on the catch. Gain of 18. Exactly the amount of yards the 49ers needed. Not a yard less would have sufficed, but it's enough for the fresh set of downs at their own 29 now. It's broken up. Nicely done by Swerve. And Shaq Hatchet is hurt. Now, no idea how long he's hurt for as uh, we didn't get an animation to following the play. But the uh, rookie of the year on offense uh, for last season being taken out is huge. And a TFL on CMC. Aaron Donald on the tackle. Third and long now. Nearly picked off by Danielson, but it'll count as a bat down. It's going to be fourth down. The 49ers will have to punt. Ryan Stonehouse out to kick. And the Ice Bear will call for the fair catch. 
Cardinals will take it at their own 18. They'll need to take it 82 yards to try and take it to four there. Pardon me. Blown up by Nick Bosa. 49ers have two uh, white defensive linemen, so I got them confused. 97 and 76. Which is not intentional. O'Shea, no gain there. So back-to-back -back running plays lead to a loss of four yards. Third and long for the Cardinals here. Oh, bobbled by Jameson Williams. That is purely a drop. So a three and an out force right back by the 49ers. In fact, causing negative yardage. My defenses are too good. And we have to play each other again. Well, Hatchet is back on the field already. Wait, is he? Remains to be seen. They showed him in the uh, cutscene, but I don't see him on the field. And Haku on the tackle there. Gain of three yards for Purdy. Finding George Kittle for a second time today. Neither team able to muster 25 yards of offense yet. And a TFL on CMC. Complete Debo Samuel, who's gang tackled up at the Cardinals 42. So just on the outskirts of field goal range. We're about five yards away from where uh, Moody gets comfortable. First and ten at the 42. Hand off to McCaffrey. Another TFL. McCaffrey on six carries has minus three yards today. Incredible job stopping the uh, focal point of the Niners offense at least. And it's broken up. A big catch by Hernandez, but Woolen able to break it up. Huge. Third and 11 now. Massive play as they're just out of field goal range. And Snoop making sure that they're going to have to punt his second sack of the day. Bringing Purdy down on the logo. Well, if you wanted to see two teams play defense, you came to the right place. Wow, what a punt by Stonehouse. Giving the thumbs up to the crowd. Pinning the Cardinals down at their own six-yard line. So everyone in the stadium knows it's going to be a run here. Ricochet in the backfield, the only man back there. Able to get two yards, nothing more. That'll end the first quarter now. Total yards in the game, 22 for the Cardinals, 32 for the 49ers. Neither team able to do much on offense at this point. Only four pass attempts by the uh, Cardinals all game, one being an interception. O'Shea, unable to bounce his run out, gets one more yard, but that's it. Third and seven, and it'll be a passing down. Only the fifth pass attempt for the Cardinals so far today. Will they be able to convert a third down finally? And Jiggles finding Luke Musgrave. First down, Cardinals, all the way up to the 24. Both catches so far by the tight end. O'Shea, the first big run by either team here, getting 10 plus. First down yet again, and a little bit of momentum building here for the Cardinals. Jiggles doesn't like what he sees, calling for a change in uh, formation. 
Oh, sending it deep. Trying to find the ice bear, but Buda Baker there to break up the bomb. Against a lot of secondaries, that would have worked, but uh, this 49ers team is built different. Empty backfield on second and ten now. Broken up. Buda Baker on two straight plays, finding, uh, trying to find the 5 5 halfback on the throw there. So third and ten from their own 38. And Bosa gets the sack. Loss of 12 on the play. First sack for the 49ers on the day. As both offensive lines are doing a good job against some excellent defensive lines, but still not a lot of passes to be found for either side here. It'll be a fair catch. Niners will start from their own 17. And it's a completion. Tandem tackle. It was George Kittle getting eight yards on the pickup. Wakabayashi and Leonard on the tackle. Hand off to CMC, and he's got the first down and then some. Good positive yardage there, about seven on the pickup. Fresh set of downs here for the 49ers. Hobbsy on the tackle, gain of only three for CMC. They're going eye formation, Brevin Jordan in at fullback. It's play action. And finding Debo Samuel, another first down up to the Cardinals 42-yard line. Oh, Hobbsy nearly able to bring down Purdy, but Purdy able to get the ball off in time. Incompletion, still second and, pardon me, now second and ten, still on the 42. Gain of only a yard for McCaffrey. Brought down by Simmons on that one. Third and nine now. Looks like a passing down to me. It's picked off by Data. The Android on the interception. Purdy was looking for George Kittle. Purdy just too dang athletic, said Sobsey. Beautiful catch by Wakabayashi, the former seventh round pick. So the score will remain 0-0. Cardinals ball from their own 26 now with just under seven minutes left to go in the first half. Data does have your back, Hobbsy. Oh, O'Shea not waiting for his blocks, only gets a yard. And it's a screen pass, finding O'Shea. Gain of about seven on the catch there. That'll make it third and two. Oh, a nice job uh, by the 49ers defense. Stopping O'Shea at the line of scrimmage, and I really wish uh, they'd be throwing the ball a little more here. <laughs> Clearly running it is not uh, the answer. Uh, yet establish the run. Maybe, maybe establish the pass. Punt team does a nice job uh, limiting the damage there, so Purdy will have himself a fresh set of downs at his own 27. Five minutes left to go in the half. Landon saying the Panthers are also running too much. CMC gets two yards and tackled. Simmons on the uh, hit. And I believe that's Donald. No gain. 
At least the 49ers are having the same issue. I am definitely rooting for the Cardinals here, by the way. Wakabayashi on the sack. Data having a game. So it'll be a three and out is uh, causing a loss of six yards on that set of downs. Be three and a half minutes left to go in the half. Oh, Ice Bear will have a chance to cook a little. Not much, though. He gets it up to the uh, Cardinals 37. So 63 yards to try and take it to the house. Three and a half minutes, all the timeouts in the world. Oh, yikes. This means they'll try and run it a bunch and fail. Like, not to that right side. My God. Or bottom of the screen. Like, running right into the defenders. Loss of three yards. Okay, this has to force a pass, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> How many tight ends do they have to have on the field? Well, at least it's a pass. Finding the Ice Bear, I think, for the first time today. First down. Indeed, his first catch for 23 yards. Two and a half minutes left to go in the half. And say six yards away from comfortable uh, Cameron Dicker range. And O'Shea gets a seam. Nicely done. Second and in inches. Yes, so much D in this one, Jiggles. Jiggles, uh, as surprised as I am, at 0 0. That'll take us down to the two minute warning. Second and in inches. From the 49ers, 32 now. No. Wow, that was a, trying to get the pick six. Oh, my God. So third and inches now after, like, that's the one time I would have wanted the run. All right, converts, successful. And Jamson is hurt. Uh, I don't know if the actual Jiggles is a lefty. I think lefty QBs are cool, though. So uh, that's my reasoning. And Jamson's day is done. So the line will be a little less stout going forward. Five yard pickup by the Ice Bear, but he is tackled inbounds. Clock still ticking. Under 100 seconds remain. Wow! Absolute laser! Finding the Ice Bear, first and goal on the five. O'Shea in the backfield, so interesting to see. Hopefully they run to the left. Oh, not a run at all. Trying to find the Ice Bear for a third time on this drive, but Fred Warner breaking it up. Empty backfield now, five yards away. Warner's X-Factor is activated. Nearly a touchdown. Looking for, I believe, Amir Hurwitz there. Broken up. Third and goal on the five. Looks like Derek Henry out there. Oh, no. No, it's O'Shea. They just uh, look fairly similar. It's play action. Jiggles takes it himself. Diving into the end zone. Touchdown Cardinals to break the shutout. With about 45 seconds left to go in the first half. The first crooked number on the scoreboard. And his first run of the day. Eagles are now 1-9. I wonder if any Eagles stars are hoping to demand a trade, says Jiggles. Uh, A.J. Brown will not... A.J. Brown and Jalen Hurts will not be either of them. Um, A.J. Brown actually just recently extended. But uh, potentially, potentially other players there. Unfortunately, uh, Alaska is the commander's already uh, picked the bones clean a little bit last offseason, getting uh, Smith. They should have a good pick again this year. It'll be interesting to see. They have some pieces. But yeah, uh, definitely we'll uh, look at teams that are looking to retool as the season uh, goes on. There will be less uh, CPU trades going forward since about half the league are users now. Watch the little draft another RB in the top five, says Jiggles. 
Game six for Kittle. He's able to hold on. Timeout 49ers. They have two remaining. Broken up. Third and four now. Jamar Hamlin comes up big on the hit. Purdy gets the first down, scoop and a slam on Debo. It's a timeout at the 49ers, 38. Pardon me, it's uh, Pearson. I saw the nine uh, there. Oh, and another broken up pass. This one by Danielson. Second and 10 now, 29 seconds remain in the half. Purdy able to get the throw to Kittle. Gain of six. Final timeout used. 25 seconds remain. It's thrown out of bounds. Fourth and four now. We'll see. Do they go for it or do they punt? They will opt to punt. And Cardinals will receive to start the second half. Stonehouse with a gorgeous punt, but it goes out the back of the end zone. Yes, good old Brian Danielson. 14 seconds left. Let's see what Jiggles uh, decides. It's a handoff. Nothing too fancy. Oh, and O'Shea gets a nice seven-yard carry to close out the half. Only 42 yards on 14 carries, though. Uh, that's too much carrying the ball when it doesn't work. Each team with 34 offensive snaps. Nearly 50-50 mix of runs and uh, passes for the Cardinals here. A little surprising. Bengals offense can't do anything, apparently, says Roast. 17-0 uh, Colts. That is tough. Ice Bear on the kick return. And he gets up to the 22. As we see, yet yeah, they're focusing on O'Shea. He's averaging three yards per carry. This is not something uh, to highlight with high fives. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say still trash, Hobbsy. Hobbsy asking if the Vikings are still trash. They are very bad in this season. There's something like one and eight, one and nine. And a TFL, Dre Greenlaw wrapping up uh, O'Shea. And a little Hulk Hogan celebration afterwards. We did not forget about Dre. Second and 11. Do not hand it off again. Good job. Well, Lenore's second pick of the day. Fourth in two weeks. And the amazing field position the 49ers will have here. Really, the Giants? Oh, Lenore just doing a good job sniping the lane. Good throw, better coverage. And Purdy will have a gift of being in the red zone to start uh, things off here. 21 yards out. Incomplete. Another pick. Oh, my goodness. And wait, we'll have to see. Pass interference on Tyreek Woolen. So it would have been an end zone interception. Now it's first and goal on the one. RNG does not smile on us today. It's broken up. Huge breakup there by Swerve. Second and goal on the one now. Let's see if they go to McCaffrey or if they go to pass again. They do indeed go McCaffrey. It's a fumble. It's still out, and it's recovered by the 49ers, but they will lose about six yards there. Third and goal on the seven now. Broken up. Wait. It looks like they're giving it to Hernandez, though. 
We'll see if they challenge. I have benefited from something similarly wacky before, though. So I don't think... Oh. I think that the, it'll count. Indeed it will, as the kicking team is out. My god. The amount of bailing out the 49ers had there. The pass interference on the interception, followed by the touchdown that actually wasn't, as Hernandez gets the touchdown. 7-7. Seven to seven. Ice Bear will kneel in the end zone. Cardinals will take it from their own 25 here in the third. So 7-7, seven, seven, basically a uh, even ball game with half left to play. Slight momentum in favor of the Cardinals, but uh, that could change, especially with the... Uh, Honestly, everything going the 49ers' way the last 90 seconds. Gain of only two is Fred Warner's there waiting for uh, Ricochet. And it's broken up. Musgrave unable to hold on. Greenlaw on the breakup there. And Greenlaw, I think, sneakily the MVP for the 49ers in this one. Bro, pardon me, brought down by Nick Bosa. It'll be a three and out, the second sack of the day for the 49ers. As the momentum is basically swung in the 49ers' favor now. Punting from their own 18. It'll be a fair catch back at their own 32, so... Still a tall order, having to take it 68 yards, but better field position than uh, most of the time. That was a confusing way of wording it. McCaffrey brought down, gain of only one. Haku on the tackle. Good boy, Snoop. His third of the day. Who's your MVP? Purdy now having to work back from his own 25. Third and very long. Third and 17. Brought down again. That's Aaron Donald this time. They get five sacks on the day for the Cardinals, including two on the last two plays. So three and outs back to back. Interceptions back to back. Cardinals will get the ball from their own 28. Two X Factors lit up for the 49ers now uh, Warner and Bosa. And they're running. It's O'Shea. He gets four on the carry. Good run. Cardinals with only 52 rushing yards despite many, many attempts on the day. And it's far more than the 49ers have, so... Really stout day of defense. Oh, the Ice Bear! Oh! That could have been a one-play touchdown, but Buda Baker wraps him up. Big gain for Ice Bear Wyndham there. He's up to over 70 yards receiving on the day. Beautiful route all alone. Baker's just fast enough to reach him. So this is in field goal range if uh, they aren't moved back. Wink, wink. Jelani Woods is hurt. And a gain of only one for O'Shea. And Woods' day is done. Play action. Ooh, that was a dangerous throw. Was looking for Musgrave, but overshot his target. Be third and nine now. Jiggles drops back, and again overshoots his target. Only 40% completion rate on the day, with two picks thrown. Able to get Dicker hopefully in range. Kick is up. 
kick is good. Make it 10 to 7 for the good guys. Fresh set it down to the 49ers here. They'll look to answer back after the Cardinals uh, put points on the board. And it's a pickup of four yards. Debo Samuel on the carry. I formation now. It's broken up. Danielson on the breakup, and neither QB is at 50% on the game. Incredible pass coverage by both defenses. Literally built in each other's image here. It's complete, finding Hernandez while being brought down. First down. Huge throw by Purdy there. Fresh set of downs from their own 38 now. Still 62 yards away from the house. And that handoff is just blown up. Aaron Donald, TFL. Loss of three on the handoff. Double backfield action here. And it's a completion, finding Debo Samuel. And that'll make Purdy up to 50%. They get it to drink time midfield. And Purdy's X Factor is lit up. Hand off to CMC, wrapped up by Young. Gain of only three on the carry. Second and seven now. Shotgun, single back formation. Incomplete. Purdy rushing the throw. Empty backfield now. And it's incomplete. And I believe the 49ers will have to punt. This seems too far out of range for Moody. They will try from the logo. About 61 yards. Kick is up. Wow. We'll have to get the tail of the tape on that one. But Jake Moody with a crazy field goal there. Tie game 10 all. Yeah, wow is right, Rippa. Ooh, roast updating. Bengals having a bit of a comeback. I brought it up to 17 14. Uh, only three point deficit at the half against the Colts. O'Shea with a nice bit of running there. Gets five on the carry. Even split, 20 pass plays, 20 rushes for the Cardinals here. And it'll be a four-yard pickup. Amir Hurwitz on the catch. Third and one now. Please convert. Hand off to O'Shea. Fourth and inch. Come on. Joe Burrow had 18 straight completions. Nice. I'm punting. Uh, so frustrating. And on the return, Pearson brought down at the 24. You get a look at Debo Samuel, nearing a thousand yards on the season. <laughs> Second 
second and two as uh, they complete the pass to Brevin Jordan. I thought that was an incompletion, but it was good for eight yards. Huge tandem sack, and Brock Purdy is hurt. His day is done, so we will see the rookie. I forget what his last name, first name is. Townsend is the last name. So two straight games, Brock Purdy is uh, gets injured. Townsend, oh, I thought he was going to run. Technically, it counts as a one-yard rush as a Snoop uh, tackles him from behind, pushing him forward. Oh, Jonathan Taylor with a one-play touchdown to make it 24-14 for the Colts. Sorry to hear that, Roast. The 49ers will be punting here. Ice Bear on the kit return. Ooh, gets uh, about 10 yards back. Ball around midfield. What could very well be the last play of the third quarter here. It's a handoff. Nice lane. O'Shea gets about 12 on the pickup. That'll end the third quarter here. We're all tied heading into the fourth. Cardinals 10, 49ers 10. Neither team able to do much on offense. It's been a battle of defense. Even the scores have largely been the result of excellent field position turnovers. O'Shea, wow! Breaking Warner's ankles. That is no easy task. Only three yards, but turning negative yardage into positive yardage. That one juke uh, gaining about five on the carry. Oh, Jiggles going to the end zone, but Buda Baker breaks it up. And Jiggles has only completed nine passes on the day. Wowie. I think just shy of field goal range, too. 40 year yards away from the house. Third and seven. We'll see what they do. It's a passing down. It's broken up. Greenlaw, who's been everywhere and everything for the 49ers today. So Dicker will try his own mighty field goal here. This one about 58 yards out. It's good. So both kickers draining massive 55-plus yard field goals in this one. The score now 13 to 10 for the good guys. Still lots of football left. Over a minute, minute, 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter here. 49ers will get the ball from their own 10, 25. It's star time for the third round uh, rookie, Townsend. He was perfect last week, although only six pass attempts. Well now, not necessarily perfect here. Huge tandem sack, and that gives seven for the game for the Cardinals. Good job holding onto the ball at least. And Snoop's X Factor is activated as he got credit for half of that. Broken up. Townsend 0 for 1 in his first uh, throw attempt. Oh my god. Nearly a safety as it's a loss of 10 yards on the catch. Wow. Fourth and 33. They're punting from their own two-yard line. Huge work by the defense. And the Cardinals will get the ball right around midfield. 
from their own 45, only 55 yards to the house, only about 22 yards to field goal range. <laughs> Landon saying no D-line should be able to do this. Fair, fair. It's probably not sustainable. Who knows if uh, Donald uh, stays, you know, active. And only the 10th completion for Jiggles on the day, finding uh, Jameson Williams pick up of eight. Second and two, flipping the field. And O'Shea has a seam 10 plus yards on the carry. He's up to 81 on the day. All the way up to the 49ers, 36, fresh set of downs. Nine minutes left to go in the fourth quarter here. And Williams will get a first down here before going out of bounds. Only his second catch of the day, 17 yards combined. Luke Musgrave on the catch, another first down. So Jiggles all of a sudden putting together some passes here. Three straight completions. As it's first and 10 on the 49ers 13. And he's going to run. Oh, nearly going to the end zone. Stopped at the one yard line. Jiggles' his second carry of the day. First and goal now, O'Shea in the backfield. We know what's likely here. Wow, they're passing. What a garbage nothing pass. Please hand the ball off to the 91 overall power back. That's why he's there. Just hand it off. A pitch. Why? And to Bosa's side. Loss of two yards on the wrong play call. So third and goal, three yards out. I want the run less now. And it's a touchdown. Who was it? Amir Hurwitz, his first career score. The second year uh, wide receiver getting play time with Brandon Ayuk out hurt. As that will give the Cardinals a two score lead here in the fourth quarter. Nice play call there. He's, he's wide open. Dicker out to kick. Kicks up. Kicks good. Make it 20 to 10 for the good guys. Just under seven minutes left to play. And a reminder that Brock Purdy's day is done. Townsend in in his uh, stead. Rookie quarterback having to take on this buzzsaw that is a Cardinals defensive line here in the grindhouse. Wow, nice completion, finding uh, Pearson. Their kick returner getting some action here, his second catch of the day, nearly 40 yards. First and 10. And being covered by Woolen, wow. Kyron Williams getting benched for Chase Brown, apparently, says Rose. Yeah, Hobbsy saying, rightfully so, we know it's killing Pat to call the 49ers bad guys. 16 carries for two yards, that is tough roast, yikes. Second and six now, Townsend drops back, it's broken up. That'll make it third and six, Is full momentum on the Cardinals side now. And Snoop with his fifth sack of the day. Who's your MVP? Good boy. Now let's see. With it only being two scores, they might not, uh, they might punt here. They might not go for it, especially being down this many yards. Putting the rookie on his ass. Oh, and Warner is not pleased. They are indeed going for it. Fourth and 19 from midfield. Aaron Donald with the sack, and that'll be a turnover on downs. 
Cardinals will get it at the 49ers 39. Ninth sack of the day for the Cardinals D-line. Now, mind you, most of these have come on Townsend in like a quarter of play. Big difference between Purdy and Townsend here. Who's good? He just takes longer. Panthers tied their game, unfortunately, says Jiggles. 13-13 now. See, that's not unfortunate to... Wait. They're playing the Giants, uh, right? Yes, I believe so. Hand off to O'Shea. Ooh, O'Shea getting positive yards. Only three, but it was nearly a loss. Feels like just skating around landmines here uh, with this 49ers defense. Oh, pass broken up. McPherson, 61-yard field goal. Makes it a one-score game for C in Cincinnati. Third and seven now from the 36. And we see Mason here in the backfield. Incomplete. Taylor having kind of a weak game. Dicker out there with another monster kick attempt. This one could be from even further. 53 yards, this one. Muddy in the bank. Make it 23 to 10. As the 49ers will need either one touchdown and two field goals or two touchdowns here with just over four minutes remaining. Pearson will kneel in the end zone here. Another sack for Snoop. He'll uh, share credit on that one with Chase Young. Um, unfortunately, uh, no, Hobbsy. Uh, Hobbsy asked if I'm concerned going to Money in the Bank since it's in Toronto. Uh, live wrestling tickets are just too expensive, and I I want to have like good seats, you know. I, I just I can't really afford that. I have bills, you know. How about you? Incomplete by Townsend. He's now three for six. Second and ten. Yes, indeed, Jiggles. Purdy did get hurt. Big block there, but uh, Jamar Hamlin tackling CMC. It's the uh, rookie hidden dev uh, quarterback Townsend here. And that'll make it fourth and five. He's going to be going for it. Three minutes left here. Clock is stopped from their own 40. Incomplete. A reminder, tune into Data's Expo stream after this as we see uh, Data getting uh, some face time. So I assume it'll be some O'Shea running here. Nice gain of five there on the carry. Thought about it, but ultimately same thing. Too expensive. Plus, I'm going back home for a week, a couple weeks prior. Ah, nice. Well, I hope it's a good trip back home for you, Hobbsy. And O'Shea will get a first down and then some. He's now at 100 yards even on the day. That'll take us down to the two-minute warning as well. As the Cardinals are in the red zone, but unlikely to score a TD unless there's just a defensive breakdown for the 49ers here. They'll probably just uh, do short runs. Maybe uh, we'll see if they run out the clock. 49ers will probably call the timeouts. Might end up with a kick. Gain of one. Timeout. Four seconds off the clock. 156 remains. O'Shea getting a first down. First and goal at the nine now. 49ers still with a timeout remaining. O'Shea picking up one yard. Final timeout used by the 49ers. O'Shea getting five down to the four. 
Third and goal now. We'll see if they choose to pass or run here. Running out the clock. 108 left to go. It is a pass indeed. Oh, and why it's how no injury on one of the last plays of the game. Don't give me that. So to make it a three score game, Dicker out to kick. It's good. Make it 26 to 10. So it's basically done, but the shouting. Oh, and Jawan Jennings apparently ties it for the Bengals. Nicely done. And looks like the Ravens will pick up the win against the Buccaneers, which is good news for uh, Jiggles and Landon. Bad news uh, what, for the Bengals. Townsend gets the throw off as he's being hit. Now four for ten. Giants beat the Panthers 19 to 13. Wow. That is truly shocking. And the Ravens beat the Buccaneers as well. Incomplete by Townsend. That is a crazy upset. It will change things as well for uh, the tank standings as well. It's broken up. Turnover on downs. So victory formation here for Jiggles. <laughs> Worst win I've ever seen, says Landon. Yes, indeed. The tank standings with a supposedly loaded QB class. And one more kneel to end the ball game here. You can put her on the board. Yes. The Cardinals will move to 9 and 0. 49ers dropping to uh 8 and 2. I will see soon enough. Jiggles and Jimbo shaking hands. Zaven Collins being like, "Man, can why couldn't I have been on the Cardinals while you were there, Jiggles? Oh, these dire stat lines. 30%, 41%. Your game broke how, Landon? So the best completion percentage was Brock Purdy. Leading in yards was Jiggles. Have you drafted a letter to... KW3, yes. So Shea, 31 carries. Not a great average, 3.8 yards per carry, but not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Holding McCaffrey to under a yard per carry is incredible and ruining his uh, season-ending stats. The Ice Bear, really the only receiver of note for the Cardinals, getting 86 yards through the air. Nine TFLs for Donald, seven for Snoop Lindsay, five and a half sacks for Snoop, two for Chase Young, one and a half for Donald, one for Wakabayashi, one pick also Wakabayashi. Game won't end. Um, try just like turning off your system, turning back on. If it won't pick it back up, we can just force win it. I'm sorry to hear that, bud. That is uh, unfortunate. So it was bowling shoe ugly, but a win nonetheless. As the Cardinals get a little bit closer to potentially locking up a playoff spot as that'll help with tiebreakers and helps uh, widen the gap. Yates had about 215 yards. Well, that'll be tough for them. Uh... Ooh, let's give Snoop an upgrade while everyone's here. 
All right. Uh, block shedding is a natural 91. So let's upgrade block shedding. Plus two to block shedding. Nice. And T. Higgins giving the Bengals the lead in uh, Roast's game. Yeah, Snoop is a monster at this point. Now, admittedly, those pluses are boosts that don't always carry over, but uh, monster. All right, let's hit the post-game press conferences, and then we'll wrap things up. 10-0, and 0. wow. Creating pressure was a big talking point this week in stopping the 49ers' offense, and it ended up playing a big part in today's win. Yeah, it's like I said during the week. Even the best offenses are going to struggle when you create pressure and have the ability to disrupt pass plays in more ways than one. All D-line will get plus five power and finesse moves for the next two games. Let us go. Plus five morale for all defensive players as well. Everybody's playing up. Let's go! I'm glad we could reward your faith, Coach. It put the right kind of pressure on us to deliver and fired the guys up. Whatever you say, Aaron Donald. I've stolen the 49ers' momentum, and all players will have plus 10 break tackle, play wreck, and tackle in the next game. And the whole team gets 2,500 XP. Hell yeah! So we'll play the Patriots tomorrow. Uh, it'll most likely be a little bit later on. I'm thinking about 7 p.m. EST. We'll uh, need to give the Patriots user time to go on uh, AP. But you could have been anywhere else in the world, chose to spend it with us. I appreciate that. The Cardinals appreciate that. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.